Hello everyone and welcome to the Brick Formula Review of LEGO Set 2508 Blacksmith Shop. It has 189 pieces for ages 7 to 14 and is from the Ninjago series Masters of Smijitsu and this set retails for $19.99. And before I continue, I would like to give a shout out to Evil Pop-Tart 01. He is the subscriber who had requested that I review this set. So everyone check out his channel and moving forward we can see that on the front here we have the blacksmith shop and they have a little preview that the roof can open up which is pretty neat and then here on the side we have the minifigures more on that later and here in the back we can see that when you open the roof it will reveal the hidden weapon rack which is pretty neat so I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up here are the minifigures and first up is Kai which you may have seen before especially if you own other Ninjago sets you can recognize him right away because he has the same uniform and the detailed pants, nothing on the back, and he has the same face with the scar over the eye, see? But he's still pretty cool, it's nice to have multiples of him. Now you have a squad of red ninjas, which is pretty neat. Next is Cruncha, he comes with a big sword and I think he's overcompensating, but he has a nice minifigure head, check it out. And there's the helmet, and that's just one piece. It doesn't move, it just stays forward and that can come off there we go and he has a nice shoulder pad too with a little insignia in the front really nice and that can stay in the body without the help of the head so you can just pull that off and looking at the other details he has a loincloth to cover his bone literally and there's nothing on the back and that's it let's take a look at the shop actually before we look at the shop let's take a look at the weapons and accessories that you get because there's a lot we get three claws a blacksmith hammer a drumstick, well, the way they have it mounted on the wall, that could be a pouch of flash powder, but it could be whatever you want in the end, doesn't matter. We have a dragon spear, and over here we have a map, where if you were to get lost from it, I don't blame you, because you can't even tell which way is north. We have a really big sword that came with Cruncha, and then we have a spear, and four ninja swords. Two silver, one black, and one gold. Now we'll take a look at the blacksmith shop. Finally, we have the main attraction, which is the blacksmith shop. And as you can see, it looks really cool. I especially love the way they made the roof because it gives it like a shack-like look to it, which is really nice. Here on the side, we have a lantern and a chimney for the forge. On the back here, you can see that everything is reinforced by Technic parts, so you don't have to worry about this thing collapsing. And also on the back side here is where you see the weapon rack. And the way this works is that if you pull the roof up, it'll switch the panel. Okay, and then you notice it's a little bit off-centered, but don't worry, you can always adjust that. You can just push it a little bit, and it's centered again, although when you close it, it's off-centered. So, it's a little weird that way, it's not perfect. However, because it's loose like that, you can always adjust it if you want the swords on the inside while the roof is down. Okay, so that's pretty nice, you can always switch it around if you like. And then on this side here, we have the tree, which is a nice detail. And look on the inside. We have the anvil, a pan of water where you can cool your weapons after you're done banging with it. But anyway, you shouldn't drink from here, I just want to point out because, well, number one, you should have some dignity for yourself, and plus, it's going to taste a little bit like metal, just in case you were wondering. There's the forge, as I mentioned earlier, and there's your weapon rack, where you get to choose your weapon, or in this case, choose a color. And up here on the roof is where you have other weapons, which looks cool at first, although honestly, in real life, I would never mount weapons on the ceiling simply because that's just an accident waiting to happen. But anyway, you have four hooks, and that's where you put the claws and the spears. So it's pretty nice, okay? Now to go on to the recommendations. Overall, this is an okay set. It does have a nice playable feature to it, and you get a lot of weapons. However, there's really nothing exclusive over here. Cruncha is new, but he's available in some of the other new sets. And if you want to get him individually, he's $12 on Bricklink and $10 on eBay, last time I checked. And the only other thing worth mentioning is the Dragon Spear over here, okay, because we haven't seen that part in that color since 2009. And according to the manual, you can only get it in this set, see? Alright, same thing with the claws too, but you can get those in the Prince of Persia sets. So I just want to point that out. Now as far as the value is concerned, it's 189 pieces for $20, so that's not bad. Okay, however, this does not feel like a set that you gotta have, and since I got this at Toys R Us, you can probably wait for their buy one get one half off promotion, which they have almost every month. So just get this with the Mountain Shrine, which is also $20, and you can save yourself some money. 
And that's just about it, really. Okay, so that sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.